DSLRs are awesome for astrophotography, but if you've ever tried to focus one of these in the dark behind a telescope when it's probably pointed at the ground, you know how difficult it is. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to use an Android device to hook up to this as an external monitor and be able to control all the functions on your camera. It's not unusual for low-end and even some high-end DSLRs to not have a flip screen on the back. Now why a flip screen? Well because of the viewing angle when we're doing astrophotography, the viewing angle becomes very important for a lot of things, especially if you use live view to focus your optical tube at night. Not having a flip screen was what drove me to find a solution to where I could use my phone, which is currently a Galaxy S8, or an Android tablet to monitor my camera by remote so that I could have a comfortable position standing as I'm doing astrophotography and be able to control those variables such as focus, ISO, shutter speed, things like that. Live view is a great tool, but if you can't see it and you have to crouch down and kneel down in the grass or wherever, that's not an ideal situation for astrophotography. Now there's a couple of things we're gonna need before we start this. First of all, of course you need a DSLR. This is a Canon T5. This is a very inexpensive camera. It's one of my first DSLRs. You have to make sure, however, that it has a USB port on the side. So this one has a mini USB port. The next thing you're going to need is a cable. So this cable is the one that came with my DSLR originally. It's a mini USB. You can see that in the top cam. Now this is the typical end of a USB cable. That's not going to fit into the back of my Galaxy S8. What I need is I need a USB-C connection. And so you would typically say, okay, well, we need some type of a gender changing device to change the regular USB to a USB-C. So if we do that, there we go. Now I can plug that directly into my cell phone. So if I take my Galaxy S8, that's ready to go. I can make a connection to my from my camera to the back of my phone. However, you have to make sure that you buy what's called a USB OTG connector. That's very important. This is not just a gender changing device. What this does is it's actually got some circuitry in there, and I have no idea how it works, that makes it so that your phone can decode the signal that's coming from your camera. Your camera's USB port is usually used to, to, to transmit information to a computer, like my MacBook here, or a Windows PC. So without this USB OTG connection, your camera is gonna send information which your phone cannot decode. Now, the next step is we're going to download some specialized software which is going to allow the DSLR to communicate with my phone and ultimately that app that we're going to use. Now, once we've got all that connected, we're gonna take this outside, we're gonna make sure that we've got the software loaded, but I'm assuming that you've already uh, figured out a way to connect your camera to your optical tube, whatever that is. So what I have here is I have a William Optic GT81. This is my, this is my dream telescope. And it's got um, a very nice rack and pinion focuser on the back. How I connect my DSLR to it is I have a special adapter that they've made for it. It's a field flattener. Take the lens off of my camera. Go ahead and thread that right onto the bayonet mount, and I'm ready to go. So let's download the software, get that running, we'll take it outside, and we'll do some tests as far as focusing and controlling some of the features in the app. We need to download specialized software to our Android device, which is going to allow us to control that camera by remote. So wander on over to the Google Play Store and do a search for DSLR controller you're gonna be presented with all different kinds of options. Everybody and their dog makes one of these. There's Nikon, Canon, Sony, uh, third-party developers. There's all kinds of apps that are available to do what we're going to do today. The one that I actually have chosen is DSLR Controller by Chainfire, so that's the one we're going to download. You don't have to use this app. I paid for this app. I have nothing to do with this app or its developer. It just turned out to be the one that worked the best for me. So we're going to go ahead and uh, install this on my Galaxy S8. All right, once that's downloaded, go ahead and open it and let's move on to the next step. All right, so we've hooked up the DSLR. 
to the William Optic Refractor. Now I just have it on a tripod. Normally if you're going to do astrophotography you're probably going to have a German equatorial mount or maybe you're going to have a fork mount of some kind depending on what type of telescope you have. But we're just going to go ahead and hook up to this simple tripod so that we can show you how to use the, the app to focus and control some of the basic uh, functions on your DSLR. So I've got my USB OTG connection on my micro USB cable which came with my camera. I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB OTG device into my Galaxy S8 and then I'm going to turn on the DSLR. Now once I turn on the DSLR that starts the app. Now you can see there's all kinds of functions inside of the app. We've got a histogram if that's something that's important to you. Maybe not for night photography, maybe it is. A couple of different uh, channels you can examine here. You've also got the shutter release button in the lower right hand corner. So if we tap, tap that, we can go ahead and capture an image. It's going to transfer it to my phone and allow me to look at it. That's obviously way out of focus. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is focusing accurately, precisely, before we start taking astro images. Uh, so let's do that now. So basically I'm just going to grab the fine control on my GT81 and I'm going to focus this on the beautiful mountains with the snow. Bring that into focus and that looks pretty good. Now if you were doing this just with the screen on the back of your DSLR, even if it has a flip screen, so the, the DSLR that I'm using right now is a Canon 80D and it has a flip screen but this T5 that I have hooked up to my telescope does not have a flip screen. Even your super high-end full-frame cameras like the EOS 1, uh, the EOS 5D, uh, the 6D, they don't have flip screens and so your camera is going to be down lower and it's going to be tough for you to actually get in there and, and control some of these functions. So now that I have my image focused, I can go ahead and take an image, I can take a video, whatever I'd like to do. Now if we were looking at a star, there's some other techniques that we're going to use using things like a Batinov mask to get that star in perfect focus and then you set your focus on your telescope's tube so that that doesn't change throughout the night probably. Uh, that way you don't have to keep focusing on different objects because everything's pretty much at, an, at infinity. You're not going to need to keep focusing that telescope during the night. So the DSLR control app, whichever one you choose, may or may not have all the features that we're talking about. But the one that I've chosen, DSLR controller, that actually allows me to control pretty much everything that's available on this T5. Now this T5 is kind of a stripped down model, doesn't have every feature that the ADD does, but for astro imaging it's just fine. This was actually one of my first DSLRs. It works great for astro imaging because it's got some pretty big pixels on it. It's an 18 megapixel camera. Once we start using a camera at night, we want to make everything as simple as possible. So something like using our phone connected to our camera adds a, a layer of simplicity that allows us to control this without having to crouch down behind the camera and try and, and struggle with focusing because that's something that I really struggled with and that's why I started this quest to find an app to use on my phone because I was having a hard time getting down on the ground and focusing my camera accurately. So as I was astro imaging through the night, I was getting images that were perfect but they were out of focus. They were just barely out of focus. And so in our next video, we'll talk about using a Batinov mask to get those stars in perfect focus. But that's DSLR controller. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.